All right, Dirt Dauber fans, it is seven o'clock in the morning, and I got my, uh, this is my morning coffee right here. That's what I do, my morning coffee. And I'm getting ready to load my tub on this little Harbor Freight trailer. I think I've mentioned it before in other videos. Paid like a hundred bucks for that thing off Craigslist. Took the sides off of it. And it's got some panels on the sides that I use when I get dirt and pine straw and stuff. But I'm gonna strap the tub down on this and uh, ratchet strap it on down. I've gotta drive about an hour from here to the same guy who did my frame, sandblast my frame. He's gonna sandblast the tub for me. And then I bought some epoxy primer off of Amazon. And I'm gonna learn how to do that. And epoxy primer this body up hopefully this afternoon i don't want it to flash rust on me um, but i'm gonna video this trip and i'm gonna show you uh, some of the sandblasting that he's gonna do and uh, hopefully this thing will be ready to roll soon Guys, I'm on my way back from having the tub sandblasted, and I have to say I'm pretty satisfied. It took him about three hours total. Um, I sat there and watched. I helped him flip it over and adjust it a couple times. We found little spots that he missed. He went back, and we covered that thing pretty well. Um, one thing that I didn't know and didn't 
uh, anticipate that there was a little bit more Bondo uh, than I thought. The good thing is, is it wasn't covering up rust or anything like that, but there's a little bit of Bondo filler on both of the quarter panels. Um, I guess those probably got kicked and beat and maybe even hitting uh, a couple trees as they were off-roading. Uh, the Bondo that was on there or the fill that was on there was not very thick, but it looks like it could be hammered out a little bit more. So I'm going to have to do some filler on the, the welds where I put the quarter panels on and also going to have to do some filler on those rocker panels to get them perfectly straight. Um, but other than that, it cleaned up really well. He um, sandblasted up under the dash and got the um, glove box and <clears throat> and everything. I mean, it looks like it's supposed to look when you get done sandblasting. I mean, it looks like a brand new tub, basically, except for the welds where I put the quarter panels on. So I'm excited. I'm going to try to get back home. It is 1.30 on Saturday. And uh, here in Atlanta, it is uh, pretty pretty dry today it's the fall November if you're watching this video at a later date it's mid-November and uh, I haven't checked exactly what the humidity is but it's pretty low that being said I don't want to wait two or three days before I seal it in with some epoxy primer I'm gonna get back and try to spray it as soon as I get back I'm gonna set it up spray the bottom set up on the side spray the underneath let that dry for an hour or so um, and then probably flip it down and try to uh, epoxy the rest tonight. This is the epoxy I got right here. Turn that, I gotta turn my camera around while I'm trying to drive like an accident. Uh, I'll do more about that. I got it off of Amazon. I'll do more information reviewing it and all that. I've, I've never actually sprayed a two-part epoxy or any kind of real automotive paint so this will be my first time I've watched a ton of videos on YouTube and decided just to jump into it um, the guy that did the sandblasting said he would epoxy primer it for me for a hundred bucks which was or actually a really good deal because I paid a hundred bucks for this epoxy that I bought but I want to learn how to do it and so to me starting off with primer is going to be one of the best and easiest ways to learn how to do it and he talked me through it kind of told me what to do and gave me some tips like I said I watched some videos on YouTube there's tons of them out there maybe I'll put some links in the description below uh, and I'm just gonna bite the bullet and try to do it I stopped by Harbor Freight and got an extra dryer uh, filter for the air compressor try to do everything uh, the right way so when I get home I'll take some more video of the tub with it being completely cleaned and ready to paint and then I'll also video some painting as well so pretty excited about this here it is what? we got it home and it's all sandblasted and ready to epoxy primer that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day I got to get on it